Hello, welcome back to Exeter and Lera. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some very simple wagon loads for an engineering train, ranging from some nice weather sleepers to spoil loads right down to the ballast that you typically see in a CCAL wagon. Just a few simple loads, so without further ado, let's crack on with the video and I'll show you how I've gone about making them. To start off with, I've taken some spare Pico ball head sleepers. And with some masking tape I've stuck this onto some plywood with the sticky side facing up. I'll just coil this round and make sure that it's stuck to the plywood as well. Then taking some raw rubber paint, all the sleepers are given a nice coat. Once this stage is done, put these lots to the side just to completely dry out. Next I'm using the Streak um, Rust Effects from MIG and this is applied over all of the sleeper chairs. It doesn't necessarily matter if you get any on the actual sleepers themselves as we'll be blending all of these tones in later on. Then with some white acrylic, I dry brush over all of this just to bring out the detail and to blend everything in together. Next up we're going to take a look at adding a ballast load to a CCAL hopper. Starting off with some toilet roll, what we're going to do is we're just going to tear this into each individual square and you want about half a dozen. Grab yourself a little bit of a tap water and a pipette. And then we're going to scrunch up each individual piece of tissue paper and press it firmly down into the hopper. Using the water, just going to soak the tissue paper and then press it down firmly and repeat the process. Once you've got enough tissue paper in there and you've got the load level near on the top, put it to the side and leave it to completely dry. Thank you. 
I'm using a medium grey blend ballast by Woodland Scenics. This is poured into the hopper and given an even coverage over all of the tissue paper. Once in place, I then soak the ballast using isopropyl alcohol. Then with a 50-50 mix of PVA glue, with a very small dollop of uh, washing detergent in there, that's uh, soaked down into the ballast just to fix it all in permanent position. Taking this turbo wagon, what I'm going to do here is add a spoil load to this one. Starting with a mix of Woodland Scenics Buff Ballast. Uh, this has been mixed up with some chinchilla sand. I'm applying some PVA glue directly to the base of the wagon, spreading it out, making sure I avoid all the sides. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is just sprinkle over the ballast and there's no specific way of doing this, as random as you like. Once the ballast is in, what we're going to do is just um, pipette some isopropyl alcohol over it. And this is followed down um, with some watered down PVA glue. So I'm going to be using a real dirt mix and I've mixed this up from just general soil from out the garden which has been sifted down through a pair of nylon stockings. This is sprinkled over the ballast and sand mix and that just adds a little bit more variation. If you add too much dirt mix, not to worry, you can always just knock it back by adding more of the ballast and sand mix on top of that and vice versa until you get the uh, application just how you want it. Then again, just add some more PVA mix over the top of what you've uh, added on top of the uh, first layer. So with the sleepers now fully dry, they're ready to be removed from the masking tape. And of course not to worry if any of the edges are a little bit lumpy, that adds to the realism. Um, typically you see a lot of sleepers which will have bits and pieces of dirt and soil stuck to the edges that have been removed and uh, any loose bits can be rubbed off also. With this load you can glue it in or in my case I'm just going to place them in without permanently fixing them. That gives me the ability just to be able to change the loads if I need to in the future. <laughs> 